previously on Iron City Garage. get it loose, we, I'll, I'll help you pluck it. I think if we just take the pins out of the back, that's what I was always trying to explain to Phil. He never wanted to listen to me about just taking out the hinge point. I mean, I would do it crude, but it looks like this one's different. It looks like this one's on a chassis. If these two bolts in the back, this whole thing should come loose. And in the front, it's got plates. Do you want to handle the whole thing as one piece? Yeah, let's take these bolts out in the front and take them bolt out in the rear and take a look around. But it, it looks like this whole frame's just sitting on the frame of the truck. It doesn't look like there's anything else. Well, the pump looks like it's part of that uh, cross member. Right, and then this cross member is a part of this frame that's sitting on top of the frame of the truck. You see what I mean? Yeah. I think if you take them outside bolts and them rear bolts, and then, you know, of course, the PTO and this stuff here, but... Who made this one? Dump. Do you... Uh, dump It. The Dump It Company out of St. Paul. This is St. Paul. St. Paul Division. University Avenue, Southeast Minneapolis. They thought long and hard to make that name up. Yeah. yeah probably, somebody probably owns that still. That's a good business name. Dump it. Cool. All right. Well, yeah, that'd be a good, good name for a uh, hot house company. That's right. They want to mud all morning. Part of how I get really dirty.
Alright, so. I tried to pick there's little, uh, little nuts up underneath. Video! It's like the perfect, uh, yeah. Now we got to make sure it's going to turn before we do anything else. Sitting in there for a while, just getting killed with wind. He could be right there, isn't Joe? I'm still in those places, wind never stopped. Yeah. Just continuous. It's like, wow, you know. I want to go play musical cars. Motor turns. Got it swept out. Joe's doing his thing. He's going to pull the spark plugs out. Very important. You clean around the seats of the plugs. You don't let dirt fall into the cylinders. So he got those all cleaned up. He's pulling the plugs. You can do a compression test first. You might squirt some oil in there too. It's been sitting for a while. Once we get a compression test, then we'll move on from there, depending on what happens after that. If we got a low cylinder, then we got to work that up. Could be stuck valve. These things are notorious for having valve issues, and that causes compression issues. So, what'd you just do there, Jeff? Oiled the back bearing of the generator. Okay, so just in case this thing Everything, fires up. Every little bit helps. There it is. And now I'm in his way. He's going to oil me next. Here's what you want to show these people. I'm close and personal because you got mechanics watching this show or guys that tinker. This is what Joe's saying. We got one plug that's got rust on it. I'm not to answer a phone call anymore because it's pretty much all trapped. Push that button, see if anything happens. This one? Yeah. Let off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep clicking it. Uh, all right. It made a revolution and then stopped. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Try it again. Okay.
stuck. <coughs> We're stuck. Try to back it up and see if it'll get past that tight spot. This is gonna be hard.
It's spun? Yep. It's turning. Now we're checking it to see if we got any compression. These two here though. Valves hanging up. I'm going to check the other side. All right, so we got two, the two mill cylinders on this side and two end cylinders on that side with no compression. Ooh. Or as they would say, juice. I ain't got no juice. all there is to it. I know we had oil. It smells like bad gas. got this one cylinder that's still still giving us a problem but we're gonna we're gonna try Here, no so you this. just take a day to to recover yeah all right well I guess that's what I'm doing you don't get splashed here.
Do you drive it? I'm yeah. driving. Yeah, did the... Yeah. We're having a review. You ready? Yes, sir. Talk about it right there. Just get out of the wall. <laughs> I don't know how these guys got in and out of these things. Some little people drove these. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, guys about this tall, but their arms were this big. And that's the door handle. I don't have a window frame. Okay. He's wanting to get out. And driving a little bit it runs good it's just the drive line it's the first time this thing's moved in forever I'm the first one to drive it we literally did not drive it before just now so I was having a little bit of trouble with the shift linkage hitting the uh, doghouse couldn't get it in first gear thought it pulling second gear wouldn't pull in second gear till I was moving I had to hold it in first gear we had to bend the tabs on the doghouse up to keep it off of the fuel pump that we had to put on this motor. I didn't have a low profile fuel pump for this, so we put one on from one of our other flatheads. It's a little bit tall for the doghouse, so that's the problem there, but it's running and driving. Most people are gonna put this on at a different frame anyways and not use that flathead, so it's okay, but we got the scrap metal ready to come off. This has all been burned. We're gonna pump this off with the skid loader, but this truck is otherwise ready to go. She's running and driving. We're gonna get this one listed I don't really have a price on it yet. I do have a title, uh, but that's it. I mean, that wraps up this video. We're gonna pull another one into the shop. We got a bunch more to do. We got, I think, three more to do. And I got more coming. We got two getting delivered tomorrow, so stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep an eye out for this one on the website, ironcitygarage.com. We'll be getting it listed. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube here. Make sure you are following us on Instagram. And if you want some merchandise, ironcitygarage.com. If you have any of these trucks sitting in your pastures on your farms in your barns or whatever and you want to sell it give me a call 412-335-6100 stuff like this stuff like this stuff like you see around here crew cab cab overs if you know about one sitting in the woods somewhere we want to know about it it doesn't matter how unaccessible your cars are at your place if they're in the woods and i got to cut down 30 trees and bring a skid loader and excavator i love it we want to do it Get a hold of me, 412-335-6100. I pay well, and uh, we have a lot of fun doing it.